Today, we are talking about how we help buyers moving to the Huntsville area from out of town who may not be able to do a traditional house hunt. My name is Ben Nemec, team leader at Team Nemec in Huntsville, Alabama at Keller Williams Realty. And I'm joined by my teammate, Melanie Williams. She is our buyer specialist for our team. So Melanie, tell our audience how you help buyers that may not be able to travel to the area for a traditional house hunting trip. Hi, Ben. Uh, In today's day and age, we are having more and more people buying homes that can't actually physically be here. So say a couple years ago where I had just a handful of people who were buying or looking virtually, now I would say over 50% of my buyers are looking while they're not without physically being here. Yeah. Because of that, uh, we have developed different procedures on dealing with people who are not in town, but need to be at see a house right away because our market still isn't such that things that are good go really fast. The first thing we do is we look for, we, we complete a needs assessment on that client to see what uh, what's most important to them? Is it the type of house they get? Is it the neighborhood? Is it the location? Do they want they want a mountainside because we have beautiful mountains here in Huntsville, or do they want something in the, on the flatter area? And then, of course, after we can hopefully nail down what's most important to that client, uh, we'll also go under what they're looking for in the actual house. Do they want a big island? You know, if we can accommodate it, we'll try to find houses that fit those physical aspects that they're looking for. Once we have nailed that down, we then start sending houses out for that client to look at. We put them on a distribution list where as soon as something comes on the market, it will send to their email right away. Another thing that we do is every morning, I ch- first thing I do is I check Uh, on our MLS to see what has come, what hasn't been sent out yet, what might be outside of that area or outside of their preferences, but be something that they want to look at uh, would be interesting to them. And then we'll send it to them as well. Uh, When the client sees something that is interesting, something that could be a possibility, they'll reach back to us and ask us to video that house for them. In this market, it is very important to get something as soon as possible because anything good is going to be gone quickly. Uh, And so we try to get an appointment right away and then we will go out and video the home. We'll video the inside of the house and the outside of the house. Uh, We try to get all the room layouts so that you can kind of, we go through the house the way you would go through the house when you're looking at it. And, um, and we try to look at the details to see, you know, like what kind of countertops, uh, what kind of flooring, is it a ceiling is smooth or is it, you know, a textured ceiling? And, you know, try to go through all of those things so that you can see it visually and get an idea and a feeling and a flow of the house. But of course, there are always going to be aspects of being in a home that you're not gonna be able to pass through on video. Some of those things would be um, like the smell of the home or maybe if the low ceilings make it feel cave-like or, you know, it, and it just doesn't transfer that well in the video. So anything that we that we notice, we'll definitely make note of so that you can get as good a feeling as that house is po- of the house as possible. We also talk to the listing agent to find out as much information as we can find that isn't that isn't listed, uh, like when, how old the systems are, how old the roof is, you know, those those type of things. When's the last time the HVAC's been serviced? Uh, we try to get as much information as possible to relay to you, the buyer, so that you can make an informed decision. One thing that I want to touch on is how we video the house. There, of course, are many, many different venues or ways that you can transfer video across. And one thing that, you know, there's FaceTime, you can FaceTime with the buyer. But one thing I prefer to do really is to video because 
when I have so many buyers that when I send them a video, they will play it 10, 15, 20 times over and over again to get a better layout of the house. And to, because every time when you see something more than once, you'll, you'll pick up on things that you missed the first time. If the buyer decides to put an offer on one of the homes they viewed, uh, we then write up the contract. We word the contract in a way that'll protect them uh, as they've not visually seen the house yet. And then we go, if the contract is, set, is accepted, we schedule the inspections for the house and we rely heavily on the home inspector should they reveal any issues that we did not know uh, from the video. Also, as the buyer's agent, I make sure that I'm there for every inspection. Uh, should there need to be any inspection further than the home inspector, say like a structural uh, inspector or you know a, a plumber or such, well, I'm, I'm there for every single inspection just to make sure that it goes as planned and to get the results of the inspector. Ben, I love helping. Uh, buyers who are out of state because I was a buyer from out of state and we bought our home without seeing it. So I know exactly all the emotions that, that buyers are going through during this whole process. Yeah, that's great context. And thank you for sharing that and for sharing what you do um, to help these buyers that maybe aren't familiar with the area aren't familiar with sometimes even buying a home this could be their first time doing it and uh, you put them at ease and I have witnessed that firsthand and uh, we thank you for for sharing that with us if you are a buyer looking in the North Alabama area for real estate please look in the comments and visit our website uh, Melanie's cell phone number as well as mine are listed on there and our emails. Feel free to reach out. If you have not already liked and subscribed to our channel on YouTube, please do so. That helps us uh, reach more people like you. And uh, we thank you for following us and we look forward to speaking with you soon.